Well, hello everybody out there on YouTube again. This is Kent TV. I'm coming at you guys again with another YouTube video. You know, I'm going to make a very serious video today and I'm going to speak on something very serious today like I always do up here on my uh, channel, up here on my YouTube channel. Um, you know, I'm going to, you know, talk about something that I, um, that I go through in my life. You know what I'm saying? I still kind of, you know, suffer from this, you know, this day to day, still suffer from, suffer from it. You know, when I, when I, what I want to talk about in this video today is uh, social anxiety and and depression. Okay, um, you know, there are a lot of people, you know, out here in this world, you know, who suffer from um, anxiety and depression, social anxiety and de depression, and maybe other 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 you know types of sim symptoms and things things of that nature. And, you know, um, you know, my issue is that, you know, I used to always, you know, um, worry so much, um, worry so much on what other people think about me and, and things like that. And, and, and I really feel that, you know, the reason why I, I suffer from, uh, the reason why I suffer from social anxiety and depression, you know, is because, um, is because that, you know, I was mis I was bullied and picked on, you know, when I was younger and stuff like that, and um, I was I, I had got mistreated so much by a lot of people. I think that's one of the reasons why I suffer from uh, social anxiety and depression, and I always, you know, worry about what people be thinking about me and stuff like that. And I be thinking that um, I be thinking that people are um, people are saying uh, negative stuff about me, like when I go out in public and stuff like. When I go out in public and stuff like that, you know, I be I be thinking that people are saying bad stuff about me, negative stuff about me when they look at me and stuff like that. Or when people, when, like when I go out in public and people um, and people uh, start looking at me from a distance, from a distance, from a far distance and stuff like that, I be thinking that they're saying something bad about me and stuff like that. And you know, just I just worry so much about what other people think. Sometimes I just feel that you know people try to embarrass me and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And like when I try to, you know, for me, for me as a boy, for me as a male, you know, when I um when I when I t see a girl, you know, that I'm int interested in, you know what I'm saying? When I see a girl that I'm interested in. And I try to, you know, talk to her, you know what I'm saying, just have good dialogue with her, you know what I'm saying, I, I feel that, you know, she's trying to embarrass me, you know what I'm saying, I just feel that she, you know, she might do something that'll, that'll, you know, um, embarrass me and stuff like that, and, and I just worry about what other people think and stuff like that and what other people say about me. You know, and and that and that's something you know, and that's something that you know that I'm that I'm that I'm working on about myself is I'm worried about what other people think and what other people say about me and stuff like that. You know, that's that's something that I'm working on about myself. Um, and you know, and I just feel you know, um, you know, um, kids bully me and stuff like that. And you know, I, you know, um kids bullying me I, that really you know had an effect on me you know as you know since I'm a grown man and I'm an adult now that really had had an effect on me as I got to my adulthood you know you know it it, it also did have an effect on me you know when I you know in my childhood as well um you know it's just because you know um you know the reason why I feel that a lot of people have uh social anxiety and depression is because that you know they feel ashamed you know what i'm saying there's something about there's something about themselves that they're you know that they're ashamed about you know what i'm saying and and to me for me as my for me as for myself there are things that i feel ashamed about you know what i'm saying you know um yeah, there's things that I feel ashamed about. Like when I like a girl, I always be like, you know, what I'm saying like I said, when I like a girl, or when I like a girl, or when I if I see like if I see a girl, you know that that I'm interested in, you know, what I'm saying I feel I get very nervous, you know, um, I get very anxious, you know, um, to uh, ask her out on a date and stuff like that. 
I get very nervous, I get very anxious, you know, to ask her out on a date because I feel that, you know, she's gonna, you know, embarrass me or say something negative about me in public. Yeah, like I said, embarrass me in public, say bad stuff about me. I mean, just, just clown me out in public. You know what I'm saying? I think the, re the reason why, the reason why I think like that, you know, um, is because that, you know, I had a, a, a girl in the past who had mistreated me like that, who would have dogged me out in public and stuff like that. And, and that won't happen again. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee that won't happen again. Um, I would, I'd be thinking, like I said, I'd be thinking that they'd be saying negative things about me and stuff like that, you know, to other people and, and, and just, they talk about probably the way I, the way I look or the way I dress and stuff like that. And, and, and that's just an issue that I go through, you know, but I'm working on that, you know, that's a flaw that I'm working on. Um, you know, I'm just trying to concentrate, you know, I'm trying to concentrate more on my flaw, on my flaws and, 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 and focus more on my flaws. Um, and, um, it just, you know, and they're just afraid to, you know, um, some people, some people have social anxiety so bad that they're afraid to leave the house. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't have social anxiety that bad that I'm afraid to leave the house. You know, some people, I got to learn that, you know, some people will have it way worse than me. You know what I'm saying? Some people are afraid to leave the house. You know what I'm saying? And and some people are just afraid of other people. You know what I'm saying? And um, I feel that way too. You know, so I'd be afraid of people, you know, I'd be afraid, like, if I see, if I see, like if I see an attractive girl or a girl that I'm interested in or something like that, you know, what I mean, I'd be afraid to, you know, speak my mind, you know what I'm saying? I'd be afraid to, you know, tell her how I feel. I get very anxious, you know, I get very nervous. I get very nervous, you know what I'm saying, just to speak my mind to her and, t and tell her, you know, how I feel about her. And, and stuff like that because I'd be afraid that she's going to embarrass me you know what I'm saying I always be so afraid about getting embarrassed you know what I'm saying when I when I go out in public I always be so afraid on you know I always be so afraid on being embarrassed by people you know what I'm saying being embarrassed people making fun of me saying bad things about me in public and other and all, all and all and all a whole bunch of other people you know what I'm saying are looking at me laughing at me and and stuff like that just just uh just clowning me out in public and stuff like that and you know that's how I um you know um that's how I feel too you know what I'm saying um you know I'll be so anxious you know um about that you know I used to you know suffer from depression I feel the reason why I suffer from depression like I said was was because I was getting bullied and picked on you know a lot when I was in school you know what I'm saying and it really carried on into my since I'm a since I'm a grown man now I really you know it really had carried it really had carried you know into my adulthood you know when kids used to tease me and get bullied when kids used to tease me and bully me um, because that, you know, I would have flashbacks and stuff like that. I'd be having nightmares where people used to bully me and tease me and stuff like that. And I think that's why, I, you know, it still, you know, sort of, you know, bothers me to this day to day. And people will always want to tell me and say, oh, oh, Kent, you just got to let that go. You just got to let that go, Kent. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, stop worrying about that. And, and I just feel that people just don't understand what it's like. You know what I'm saying? To be bullied. People who have never been bullied or been messed with when they was younger, people those people don't understand, you know, what what it's like to be bullied. What's it like to be mistreated? What's it like to be picked on? You know what I'm saying? What's it what's it like to be to be a victim of being harassed? You know what I'm saying? Those people don't know what it feels like and they wanna tell me to get over it, just let it go. You know what I'm saying? It takes time to let things because you, when you, once you get, you know, once you get mistreated so much, once you get picked on and get bullied again and just get dogged out and talked about real bad so much by other people, you know what I'm saying? It takes time to just, you know, get over stuff like that. And you have flashbacks and you have flashbacks and you have nightmares and stuff like that. It takes time, you know, to just, you know, to just let that stuff go. 
You know what I'm saying? It, it, it takes time to just let that stuff go and let it pass. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, with me having suffering from depression, it was because I was getting bullied and getting picked on so much when people used to always say how ugly I was and how I looked like a gorilla and stuff like that. And people say I have a, you know, um, people say how short I was and how ugly I was. Like I said, how ugly I was, how I looked like a gorilla and stuff like that. And people, one girl said I looked like a dog. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, and it just, it really bothered me. And, and deep down, and deep down, it, it really, really, really angered me, you know, and I just started, you know what I'm saying, it just, it was very hard for me to overcome that, you know what I'm saying, still is hard for me to overcome that now, you know, since, you know, since I, you know, I don't want to put my personal business out there, uh, but since I got some help, you know what I'm saying, since I got some mental help, you know, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know, uh, but you know, as for myself, you know, I get very anxious about something. You know, it's like I get very anxious. Like when I see a girl that I'm when I, when I that I'm interested in, I would get very anxious. You know, what I'm saying I get very anxious, and I don't know if I'm the only one. You know, that goes through that. Um, but you know, it may take some time. You know, for me. You know, what I'm saying. Uh, as for the girls and stuff like that, I don't know if this is normal or not, but I get very anxious, you know, to ask ask them out on a date and um, and stuff like that, and because um, I always worry about that, because I always be worried about how that um, that she's going to embarrass me or clown me and stuff like that. You know, I, I worry so much about that, and you know, and I really, and I really, really don't know why. You know, I worry so, so, so much about that, you know, about being embarrassed, you know what I'm saying, being cussed out in public, you know what I'm saying, by a woman, you know, because I've, I've been mistreated so much with me, with me, with my depression and stuff like that, I think very negative, you know what I'm saying, sometimes I feel that I ain't nothing, sometimes I feel that, you know, I'm not good enough for nobody, I just feel that, you know, nobody, sometimes I feel that nobody will ever, 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 you know, um, like me for who I am or, or uh, accept me for who I am, you know what I'm saying? All people will do is dog me and clown me and make fun of me and try to embarrass me. Um, sometimes I feel that way, you know what I'm saying? I still kind of feel that way now to present, here in the present. I still kind of feel that way about myself and I, that sometimes I feel like a reject. You know, and I feel like a loser. I feel like I'm, I'm a worthless piece of trash. I'm worthless scum. You know, sometimes I still feel that way about myself. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been mistreated so much by people. You know, I've been dogged out so much by people. As for being bullied, I, I was cyber bullied, you know what I'm saying? I was cyber bullied as well. You know, people, once you get bullied so much, you know what I'm saying? It could really, really um, mess with your self esteem, you know what I'm saying? And I'm really having a hard time thinking more highly of myself. Because I always feel that I'm a loser, I'm a reject, you know what I'm saying? I'm worthless. I ain't nothing. You know, um, you know, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. Social anxiety and depression. You know, I, I just be so afraid to, to tell, not just women, you know what I'm saying, just people in general. You know what I'm saying? I'd be so afraid to um, tell people how I feel and stuff like that. I get very anxious and I get very nervous. Like when I go out in public, or like when I go out to a, go out in public to a store or something like that, you know, I feel, um, I feel that, um, I feel that, you know, like when I need help with something, I'd be afraid to ask for help. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if this is me. If this, I don't know if I'm the only one who goes through this, but I was always been afraid to ask for help. You know what I'm saying? With anything, anything, I was always afraid to ask for help because I'd be so afraid that they're going to they're gonna think that I'm dumb or they're going to think that I'm stupid. 
if I ask if I ask for help or, or if I need help with something, they'll think I'm dumb or they'll think I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm doing. You know, um, you know, always afraid to ask for help. I'm still am now. I don't know. I really don't know. I always just afraid to just speak my mind to people. I just always just been afraid of everything, you know what I'm saying? Being afraid to do this, worried of second guessing myself and always being afraid to, you know, tell people how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Always afraid to ask for help. You know what I'm saying? Get very nervous, get very anxious, you know, always thinking negative and stuff like that and just feeling sorry for myself, you know what I'm saying? Um that's, I still feel that way this this day to day. I try not to feel that way, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to think positive and have a positive attitude and things of, things of that nature, but it seems like it isn't doing any good. It's not helping. You know, um, I'm trying to get some help, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get some mental help, but, you know, I'm, I'm working on that. You know what I'm saying? There were, you know, there were thoughts before before I end this video, there were thoughts I always thought about hurting myself and stuff like that because I always felt worthless. I always felt like scum, a piece of trash. I wasn't good enough for nobody. There were thoughts where I, I always thought about extremely hurting myself. You know, I hope I'm not the only one who feels that way. There were thoughts there. There were thoughts where, because I was, one time I got mistreated so bad by people, you know, I really thought about hurting myself, extremely hurting myself, you know what I'm saying, my depression and stuff like that, there were thoughts I thought about hurting myself or hurting somebody else, yeah, I thought about hurting somebody, I thought about hurting other people out of anger, you know what I'm saying, out of frustration, out of hatred, you know what I'm saying, there were thoughts, I still kind of have those thoughts today, but just, just make sure you guys hope that I'm okay, you know, I'll be okay. Let's hope you guys, you know, pray for me and stuff like that, you know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and close this video. I just want to make that video and share that with you guys. The things that I go through, the things that I suffer with and stuff like that. And, and the thoughts that I have in the past. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. This is uh, Kent TV signing out. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys take it easy. Um... Peace out and have a good one.